바라진인데? 어이 김보디아 김정은 백무관 치파 이 캄보디아 어? 우리 우리 형님 우리 형님 아라이 디스 오빠 디스 오빠 디스 노 오빠 아니 김정은 김정은 우리랑 우리랑 되게 꿈 얘가 고양이 우리랑 이거 Uh, you captain? Huh? Captain, captain, captain. He has to take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> he has to take a shit. <laughs> Look at him. Thank you. Look at his butt cheeks. <laughs> Look at his butt. Look at his butt. Ongdongi ba. What do you think, Kev? What do you think? Now, Kev has no ticket. <웃음> 어떻게 해요? 그냥 싱어폴 혼자 갈 거예요? 뭐 어쩔 수 없죠. <웃음> 그냥 그렇게 해야죠. 뭐. 그래서 우리 네명 가면 되잖아. 그래서 같이 가야지. <웃음> 나중에 오면 되잖아. 월요일 날 조지랑. 아. He's the type of a guy that doesn't want to fight. I mean, he would fight anyone, but he, he would most likely want to fight with someone with a name value, you know? Such as like Timur Nagibin, who's ranked number two in Russia out of a thousand people. So that's the type of person you're looking into, you know? Anyone, anytime, anywhere, but you better have a fucking name to fight him. Coming into this tournament, I gave him four weeks. I asked him like, hey, you want to fight for UA Warriors title or do you, do you want to fight for Road to UFC, and he didn't even think twice, you know? He was just like, of course I'm gonna fight for Road to UFC. Like, I don't care who it is, what it is, when it is, just give me a name and I'll get it ready. They call him Red Horse, by the way, because he never gets tired. Like, he would put a pace on you in training or in a fight. That's how he became Red Horse, because the word Red Horse in Korea basically means the running horse or the never stopping horse. Sorry, bro. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 Long Xiao, his original opponent, was not able to make it to the fight due to COVID. Um, how should I say this? COVID complications in his lungs. So he was not really prepared. Five days before the weigh-ins, he pulled out. And on his way to Singapore, right, right as he was about to board the plane, um, the UFC sent a replacement from Korean zombie MMA called Young Jin Huang. Huang Young Jin. So he was dissected his new opponent. He, he made a new game plan while coming to Singapore inside an airplane for seven hours. Two days later, we received the bout agreement, but Huang unfortunately pulled out. So right now, Minu's just cutting weight without, you know, an opponent. He's about six to eight pounds away, but and wanes in two days, still without an opponent. And last night at five in the morning, I received the bout agreement, printed it out, and I asked Minu to come down. But literally, as soon as he came downstairs to sign the paperwork, we got notified saying, you know, Wang's not, be, Wang's not gonna make it to the fight. 
And right then, uh, like, Minu had this crazy mental breakdown. Because, you know, he's six, 67 pounds away from making weight, but he's left with an opponent, and you see him suffering there right now as we speak. It's like it's harder for fighters to cut weight when there's not an opponent, you know? Especially when you're, like, literally two days away from the official weigh-ins. And as of now, if the UFC couldn't find a replacement, uh, he's just gonna move up to semi-finals. But that may sound good to some people, but in his opinion, he came here to fight, you know? He did eight weeks camp just to get ready and have a comeback fight after having such a la long layover. あ、なんか見えて。気づいてる。気づいてる。ね。ちょっと垂れ枠で。くにし、ジンシナス。ま、きれいで。きれいでは。どうもありがとうございます。ちょっと自信がね。すれぎね、おじねん、あんまどあね
156 for Kyung Kyung Kim. Happy ending, 가야죠. 안 그래요? 